Yeah. Enjoy ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good. So, uh, one of my mates, he's out in Afghanistan, and he's recently sent me back an Afghan porn magazine. Uh, it's the Taliban version of the porn magazine, barely legal. Just contains a picture of a woman, fully clothed, driving. <laughs> <laughs> to a polling station. <laughs> Just explaining the joke. Just don't worry, mate. No one understood. Yeah. So, uh, barely legal. You think any readers are barely legal? I've ever bought just seventeen by mistake. <laughs> it's all right. I just have a wag to this picture of the bird out of Hanson. <laughs> yeah, it was a nineties reference there. Uh, you got that? Any young kids in apologies? <laughs> Uh, well, mate, actually, in Af Afghanistan, you also sent me back the Taliban version of the porn magazine Reader's Wives. Yeah. There's 12 different women in there, and all the pictures were sent in by one guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, smut, we've done smut, tick. <laughs> Moving on to politics. Did any of you folks watch the election debates? Anyone been watching that? Watching it tomorrow? No. No, a few yeses, a few noes, well I'm with you there with the no, I don't get it. People staying in to watch a load of self-satisfied, self-important tossers talk a load of shit in a desperate bid to get people to like them and further their own career. <laughs> Whereas you guys tonight have obviously come out to a comedy club. <laughs> To see a load of self-satisfied, <laughs> self-important tossers talk a load of shit. Yeah, you can finish that joke yourself. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, David Cameron, anyone voting for him? Three. One. <laughs> one lone Tory. There would be the one person in the place making the money in here. Guy <laughs> behind the ball. Well. I'll be honest with you folks, I don't trust him, I don't like him. It reminds me of one of these people you see, when you see a nice girl come out of a long-term relationship, she's a little bit vulnerable, and he's there, sniffing around, being a nice little shoulder to cry on. Come in folks, come in folks. I'll start again, don't worry about it. I'm just talking about Cameron, you guys like him? Yeah. Yeah? I'm gonna just do the setup of the joke again and we'll all pretend it's natural, right? <laughs> Saying I don't like him, he reminds me of the kind of guy you see who sniffs around a girl when she comes out of a long-term relationship, being a nice shoulder to cry on. And then soon he wears her down, they go out together, and first chance he gets he tries to fuck her up the arse. <laughs> I'm telling you folks, there is an evil plan behind that massive shiny face. <laughs> so that's politics done. Tick. <laughs> so, uh, any of you folks, give me a cheer if you celebrated St. Patrick's Day last month? Three. Give me a cheer if you're Irish? Three. So, not quite as big. So I celebrated it too, and I think there's a right way and a wrong way of celebrating it. That's the same way. <laughs> well, just let me do the job, fella. <laughs> Follow you! Follow you! Right, so, uh, for instance, to give you an example of the wrong way, in my works canteen, they celebrated it by making all the staff wear green hats, putting up green bunting and selling supposedly Irish dishes. Now, to me, that was a bit tacky, I didn't want any part of it, I just ignored it, and I got myself a jacket potato. <laughs> Now I got myself the last jacket potato and I thought to myself, running out of potatoes, what could be more of the Irish than that? Yeah. The answer to what could be more authentically Irish than that is a man in a balaclava river dancing. <laughs> Whilst pissed. <laughs> Irish bit, done, tick. Uh, for any English people feeling a bit smug or Irish people feeling offended, the most authentically English thing I could think of was a man Morris dancing whilst politely talking about the weather with his neighbour. <laughs> whilst pissed. <laughs> so, uh, 
Any of you folks uh, miss the winter? No. Yeah. No, yeah. I'll be honest, folks, I miss it because I've got a joke about it and now it's really hard to crowbar it in. I tell you folks why I miss the winter, because I love playing in the snow. I love playing in the snow. Unless it's hide and seek with my mate Albino Dave. <laughs> I can see one or two of you there don't like albino jokes. You're right, they are beyond the pale. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, everyone, come on, come on.